The worst psychedelic trip I've ever seen led to a broken sofa and a person becoming a hardcore MAGA. Back in the day, I used to work with this guy. Let's just call him Owen. One night, he came over to my place to try a substance called Savia Divinorum. Savia is a psychedelic that produces violently intense visuals through a unique mechanism of action that's different than any other psychedelic out there. It must be approached with extreme caution. And while I told my friend Owen this, he just didn't listen. 15 seconds after he smoked it, Owen starts crawling on my floor like a zombie dog. Suddenly he stood up and when he did, the edge of his shoulder flipped my coffee table and shattered my new bong all over the floor. Owen was aimlessly wandering around my living room. His arms were outstretched like they were on a string and he was being pulled by a puppet master. Every step he took, it looked like he was gonna fall over at any time. And then he started walking towards my new big screen TV and I thought, bro, there's no way you're gonna break my TV too. So I quickly got between him and the TV and when his hands touched me, he immediately went the other direction like a pinball. But when his legs touched my sofa, he launched directly on the cushion and did an atomic butt drop, cracking my entire sofa in half. Then I heard Owen whispering, help me. Help me. Those whispers turned into loud whimpers. Help me, help me. And those whimpers turned into full blown screams. Help me. I needed to calm him down, but I wanted to give him some space. So I put my arm out so he could have something to touch, thinking maybe that could give him something to connect with in the real world. He grabbed onto it and continued crying for help, tears streaming down his face, snot everywhere. Then Owen popped up and started insisting he had to get out of here. He started fidgeting with the lock on my door. I thought if he could figure out the small puzzle of sliding the latch, opening the chain, and then twisting the lock, that mentally he would be back from his trip. That was the idea, but what happened is Owen immediately unlocked the door and ran outside barefoot in the parking lot. I didn't chase after him. At this point, I was emotionally spent. Eventually, he walked back in. I let him calm down a bit, then I asked what he saw on his trip. He told me he was smoking salvi in my living room, and then he teleported to a giant green field of tall grass, and he touched each blade of grass with his fingers. Then he found a road and started to go down its path. All of a sudden, Owen heard the sound of trumpets and horns in the sky. He looked up, and the clouds in the sky parted and he saw God surrounded by all these biblical figures. He took this as it was the end of the world, and as a Christian, Owen just wasn't ready for it, so he freaked out. After Owen's intense Soviet trip, he completely changed his life. He left his job, moved to Alabama, became a super devout Christian, and then became a diehard MAGA Trump guy. And I'm not judging Owen on his life decisions, I'm just telling you that's what happened to him after he smoked salvia. And if you want to hear the entire story, watch the full video on YouTube.